Okay, guys, it's, it's crazy when the sun's beaming on you, blinding your eyes. It's beautiful blue sky outside. See? Well, you can't see. But you can kind of see the background. But anyway, it's like in the 30s. It's like freezing. I'm like, that's crazy. How can the sun be directly on you and it be freezing temperatures? That's beside the point. All right, so we are heading out to Lebanon, Tennessee. And one of the things, I, I don't think there's anything like this in California, but if you're watching this video and you live in the Greenbrier area, you guys know about Douglas and Company. If you don't know what Douglas and Company is, it's it's a place where everybody goes to get food. It's, at a, it's a part of a gas station. It's like a meet and three for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, they have really good food there and they're always packed. So it's interesting to see a food place pop up in the gas station, like kind of like Rusty's uh, in Texas, but we never had this in California. So we're going out to the place called Uncle Pete's. Okay, so we're here and it's Philip 66 gas station. Uncle Pete's and they have coffee mugs galore. All oh, those coffee mugs. Now, what do we know about those coffee mugs? That's people have brought coffee mugs and left them here. And they leave them here? Yeah. Wow. And they have like tons of them in every window. That's crazy. They got them on the shelves, up, hanging and everything. All right, you ready to check it out? Sure. So, this is the convenience store, and then there's the entrance right there. Uncle Pete's a great place to eat. She's looking for a table right now for six. We got people coming. Yeah, we're having a party here. Ooh, what is this? Are these sauces? Hey, honey. Interesting. Let me ask you, dirty school. Did you have tea? You can see all the cups. I used to All the cups. And now it doesn't bother me no more. But when I was younger, it was like, what it looks like. really? In front? So you got your appetizers. Salads and soups and such. Sandwich spectacular. You got your sandwiches. Oh my gosh, their prices are really reasonable here. Side items. How's that? And over here are the daily lunch specials. Over 8,000 mugs. 8,000 mugs? <laughs> wow. Take home meals. It was taken out of my hands. Fried chicken. Man, I can't get, I can't stop eating fried chicken. I love fried chicken. Okay, we got Pete's pizzas and paninis and pasta. Half pound hamburgers. Wow. Well, if you want to take a closer look at the menu, just stop the video. There you go. They got a. This is a huge menu. Okay, what'd you get? I got the uh, Western omelet. All right. And the bacon in there, right? It's got bacon. Right. With, yep. Oh, I'm done with you, sorry. Corned beef hash. <laughs> what is it? Corned beef hash, sunny side up. Oh man, you're a corned beef hash person. One hundred percent. And what did you get? Just a uh, hometown favorite. Hometown favorite, right there. All right, and I got just the uh, bacon and the, uh, it's a Pete Scramble. That's what they call it. We're at Uncle Pete, so a lot of it is named after him. And that's a Pete Scramble with tomatoes, onions, bell pepper, and everything else. Okay, guys, first thing I want to say is say hi to Tammy when you go in there. You guys stopped by Uncle Pete's. Tammy was such a sweetheart, served us, made sure our coffee was always full. Once again, it's one of my biggest peeves about breakfast is to have a full cup of coffee and they never let up. Congratulations. Um, total local spot. Be ready. You're going to have people who probably live within a mile of that place. Uh, looks like they come here all the time. They've got a huge menu. I don't know how they're kicking that out at a gas station kitchen, but anyway, <clears throat> very impressed. Um, if I'm in the area, I'll be back. Uh, I highly recommend you guys check it out. Uh, I give them a solid A and because they, there was nothing wrong. And uh, it, the well, no, I'm giving them an A plus because there was nothing wrong and the prices were good and the service was good 
and the flavors were good. I, there isn't anything I could have improved on that breakfast. It was really good. So A plus, congratulations. Show them some love. Let them know you saw it on the show. All right, you guys take care and have a good time when you go.